Hello everybody, um, I've not done an update on my second channel for a while so I thought it was about time I did that. To be honest with you, things have been, I think hectic probably covers it, there's, a, there's stronger words. There's now three weeks to go before the final day, three and a bit weeks, and which means I have two weeks to get things finished because the auctions have to be listed before, or seven days before the final day. So I just want to quickly run through the things I've got left to do in those final two weeks uh, to give you an idea of um, how sweaty it's getting here. <laughs> so uh, things left to do. So the last big project which I'm working on right now, which is the Omega 1200 being plant transplanted into or planted into a Checkmate 1500 plus case. Andrew Searle donated the 1200 and Chris Cathers donated the Checkmate case. I've done the recap of the Omega 1200 and that's gone really well. There's, uh, there's a little video coming out just over the next few days sometime, maybe at the weekend, I'll give this last one a chance to breathe. Just about the um, something that happened during the recapping process, which uh, I found really interesting and could be, you know, a good talking point, but nothing to do with the charity. And um, it only took me an afternoon really to get that video to from conception to release or ready for release. It's not out yet. So the last big project should be should be filmed by the weekend I think I, I don't anticipate any problems the only problem that I couldn't really anticipate was um, that maybe the caps had caused devastation inside the 1200 where I hadn't seen them so but that hasn't happened uh, thankfully so unless I'm missing something and I think Chris has kindly given me everything I need to put in there just about just about every time I bumped into him, he, he kept handing over bits and pieces for me to um, add to the pile for when the project was ready to go. So fingers crossed I haven't misplaced anything and fingers crossed I've got everything I need. That should be, you know, just a case of screwing the motherboard into that case and and then um, filming that as I go. Editing that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I did record the whole of the recap process, but I don't think I'm going to put all of that into the video. So hopefully it'll be a slightly shorter video than the last few have been. Which is a, a subject for another day, but I have been experimenting with uh, longer videos and different ways of filming using my, uh, actually I've, I can show you, Ooh. my uh, amazing piece of wood that uh, I have clamped across the front of my workbench that allows me to mount cameras in front of me so that I can work around them and it's worked really really well. I use, I use these amazing um, small rig clamps with a, a ball head mount on on the top and um, I have these everywhere. There's there's one up here for this this camera uh, here. There's um, oh, I've got another one here. If I need an, an extra light, I just I can just put that in there. And my panel lights, these these lights up here. I've got one here, and there's one on this side as well. Um, oh. If when I'm filming in front of the bench here, I need extra light, I can just replace this camera with, this has got a quick release mount on it. I can just put this in that, in place of that camera. And um, yeah, that works brilliantly. Anyway, off, off topic there. Uh, so that, yeah, the last big project um, should be done then. I've got, I've got a list here of uh, all of the small projects that I need to do. I, I'm not going to be able to. These are all the things that I wanted to make videos about. For instance, the Amiga power supplies. Oh, I've got a box here full of um, bits and pieces for the Amiga power supplies. And there's all... Um, in fact, this isn't all of it. There's more. I don't know where they are. <laughs> there's, uh, there's another box. Yeah, there's another box somewhere with um, 
the Meanwell power supplies in and some power supplies ready to be um, gutted and replaced. But uh, I don't know where that is. But I need to uh, make sure that I've got good power supplies for the Amigas that I'm selling. Um, I don't trust the old Amiga power supplies. So, and I wanted to make a video about the replacing an Amiga power supply with a Meanwell. Um, so, but it's something that's going to have to wait for another day. I'm just going to have to actually do the work and get on with it. But that's been that's been sitting there waiting to go. There's lots of small items. So um, I've got Julian from my Discord sent me some sent me some oh, C64 power savers. Uh, I've got three of those, but they they need cables. I can't just I can't use them like that. So. I've got to sort that out. If anybody has access to, you know, uh, if anyone wants to volunteer to uh, to help out to get the the bits that I need, so I need a male and a female cable, um, well, male and female female plugs to go on either side and cable to go in between them. And if they would, you know, I've got time to send those to somebody. If you want to get them fixed up and ready to go, uh, I could probably get the the 3D prints done for the cases that go around them. If, if someone could find me a link to that, that would save me a little bit of time. The so another project I've got to complete is um, this is the Versa Terminus board that Julian Jimbro um, sent me, and I built up for the Kim One video. I, don't, I can't remember if I actually showed this, um, but I might have to make this into a video after the fact because there was a problem with this board where um, the pinout for the PS2 connector is reversed. Uh, so I've, I've bodged this one. This is actually, oh no, this is my one. Julian sent me his one to, to bodge as well. But he's since fixed that and sent me a bunch more boards. No address on there, is there? So I've got a, uh, a stack of new boards. And so I need to transplant everything off of here or well, not all the, well, I suppose I could, but take everything off of here and, and install it onto the um, onto the new board so that I can send one out with the Kim one. So that needs doing. Uh, I should have everything to make another one from scratch. So I'll probably just make one from scratch with all of the spare parts that I've still got in here and, and then just get that sent out ready to go and then sort out the other one later. Dave Williams <laughs> sent me this. This is a, I asked him to make one up for me. <laughs> um, this is a fully made up Kim One expansion. So it's got the uh, expanded ROM and it's got the expanded memory, but it's also got the power board part of it. So you can still have the power in here. It replaces the little board that was on the side. Um, so it's still, that board has just been inc incorporated into this board, which has got the memory and the, uh, and the ROM included on it. I think it's um, got some version of basic on there. So that should be fun. I need to show that. Uh, I didn't lose the feet, Dave. <laughs> um, but I don't, I don't think I'm going to have time to make, well, I'm not going to have time to make a dedicated video. It's just, I just physically haven't got time. So I might leave that so that maybe if I've got all of the listings ready the week before, seven days before that seven days I could I could use that to do some short videos but I still got to do the, the roundup I have to do oh, that's something I hadn't thought about I've still got to do the roundup video where I go through all of the items that are going to be for sale which that all need to be ready before I can make that video so it's not going to be until the um until the Amiga 1200 is cased up and and then just go through all of the items that are ready for sale uh, in a way that I can say, this is what you can buy. This is what comes with it. These were part of the mini pet bundle. There's a pet user port dual joystick there. It's a very simple thing to do. Actually, Lee, Fuzzy Lee, would you like to make that up for me? And and this one, it's just a, a little bit of soldering. It's only a 10 minute job. That needs to be done. Oh, I can't wait to show you what's in here. <laughs> The Aussie 64 here uh, has, I didn't show this in the video, but it's got a power, a, a reset switch 
that came as standard. This is the actual switch that was in there. So I need to work out how that that's needs soldering onto into the correct place inside of there. I've got to then get all the listings done, which means photographing everything and writing a listing out and getting it, all of that uploaded to eBay in uh, in the correct way. I'm not an eBay, eBay expert, so that's going to be time. Um, I've then also in <laughs> during the last week, um, I've got to get all of the streaming set up. I'll need to before then over the maybe uh, next weekend or the weekend after. I need to do some test streams, so I'm I'm going to need some volunteers from my uh, YouTube chums to help me out with um, testing. I still don't know how I'm going to do it. Last year I used some um, I can't remember what it's called now. Some software that allowed me to have people join in a browser, and their Windows. Oh, it's complicated, but it it worked well. But it was a bit janky, and it's free open source software and it's it's great if everybody's using the same browser but if some people joined with um you know apple browsers didn't work very well with it so i'm gonna i've got two options i'm either going to use riverside and have to pay for i'm not sure how that's going to work but I, I might have to pay for like a a, a premium a month on riverside uh, it could cost 30 40 quid or something like that so that i can have enough guests at once because there's going to be well, the Australian hour, is, there could be six people in there or, or around that. Um, I still got to organise people as well. I've got herd YouTubers. I, I've still got to organise uh, everybody that's going to be in the streams and make sure that they know what time. You know, these are people from all around the world and there's there, there are different time zones to take into account and it's it's complicated and youtubers are not organized people trust me um and then i've got to breathe <laughs> as well sometime in amongst all of that I, I still need to breathe so on the day the target as i've said all along is fifteen thousand pounds um to buy those miniature donkeys and the place for them to live it's all their barn and everything and the fencing and food and and accruitments so we've got we've got to um, raise fifteen thousand pounds. I don't think that we'll be able to do it on the day. If I could sell everything that I have here on the day, I think we'd do it. I think I think we've got fifteen thousand pounds worth of stuff. But my worry is that um, if I put all of that on in one day then we'd reach saturation point. There's only so many people that are going to bid and they're only going to bid on a certain amount of items. And if there are too many items, then some of those items just won't reach their full potential, which is, you know, I'm not going to be upset if something goes um, for not crazy money. Like, you know, the Mectrum last year going for a thousand pounds was just madness. That's not going to happen this year. It might happen on one or two items if if we're lucky that would be great but it's definitely not going to happen on all of the big ticket items that i've got so the target is fifteen thousand pounds but it's not the target for the day it's the target that i'm going to reach i will keep going after the event as, as i've already said there's going to be further sale days and I um, although I would quite like it to be over, I'm going to do it in a way that doesn't put any pressure on me. So I'm I'm going to actually take an item. I'm going to maybe make a video about it, but I'm going to do the work to it to get it ready and cleaned up and and ready for sale. And then I'll advertise it as you know a charity item uh, through all of my social media outlets, and then sell it. And then I'll keep going until we reach fifteen thousand. I'll probably go keep going until we've got rid of everything i've still got some bits from last year I've, one notable thing i've got from last year is uh amstrad cpc 464 which i've said <laughs> well last year i said i can't put it put this in the sales because it's not sinclair and this year i've um 
I haven't put it in the sales because it's not Commodore. <laughs> um, but I, I did say I would sell it. So it's going to go, that's going to be one of the first things to go actually in the aftermath of this. Hello, phone. I'm back. Um, so the bottom line is that um, I will I will keep going and eventually <laughs> you, you wouldn't believe how much stuff there is here. You can see that, that just the edge of a pile of books and things here. Um, so all of the books, <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. I'm going to put some of the books in with some of the bundles, but um, I've just got so many things here, so much software as well and bits and pieces. But we will keep going. We'll keep going until we hit £15,000. And oh, <laughs> I don't know how long that will take. It might take a few days. It might be done on the day. Who knows? Um, but I'll basically keep going. But I am really, really looking forward to not having a deadline. I don't like a deadline. I'm not going to do it like this year. Next year, I'm not. I might even take a year off next year because this has been hard. Um, but we won't go into that now. Um, so I want to just show you some things that have arrived. This arrived from my friend Lee Smith, and it is a purple cover, color, a purple cover in sparkly purple um, for the Amiga 500. What happened there is that um, I contacted uh, Phil, I think it is, at a1200.net, and or he contacted me and said that he would look into it. And I chased him up recently and he said that they haven't got one. But he he's going to keep trying. There There is another possibility. He will keep trying, but it looks like we won't have a transparent cover for that side cover. It, there is a chance it is somewhere in here and that one day I'll find it if whoever wins it and I you know this will be in there along with a, a standard original cover this will be in there and I will um, I will send on eventually if I do find it the transparent one I don't I don't know though I think I've got a feeling I threw it away which still haunts me I did briefly show this in the um, uh, uh, the end of one of the videos, but here's the Kung Fu Flash in a transparent case, which is lovely. It's really nice. Bit disappointed that I couldn't change it. It would have been nice if I could put the um, red one in there, but it looks like this is glued. Oh, I've taken the screw out and it just it is solid. It's They are not coming apart. Um, so I'm not breaking it. Green is fine. But that's a Kung Fu Flash. Uh, here we go. This is um, probably, this is probably um, one of the things that I've been most looking forward to showing, uh, to showing off. And of course, it's a mug. Now we have other mugs. They are literally buried. I've got, I think, I've got a Retro Passion one that I picked up at Kickstart, and I've got a This Week in Retro uh, one from Neil, and. There, I'm sure there's another one. So it might just be the three mugs, but this is my... So we did one mug from um, my channel last year, and I put it with Neil's mug, his um, RMC mug, and they sold for uh, £250, I think it was, to my friend Paul Universal Retro Boss. And uh, <laughs> he's um, he said he's going for the mug again this year, so you're going to have some stiff competition if you try to get this he does like collecting these mugs he has a proper collection of um, gaming themed mugs so i ordered this one only a few days ago and for some reason i thought that this was going to cost a lot more money than it did it didn't it was actually reasonable um, cost uh, so i might uh, look into doing these again but um they'll always be for the charity ones they'll always be um unique so i've got my i've got my logo on this side and uh, we go around we have a transparent purple PCB donkey miniature donkey and the date and it's lovely it really is nice 
It's a bit dark in here. Let me just turn the lights up. There we go. But I didn't just get that, get that. I got something else as well. While I was there, I couldn't resist this because it wasn't very expensive and I thought it would be a good addition. And it's a mouse mat. <laughs> Oh, it looks pretty good on camera, actually. It's, it's, no, oh, no, it is. I looked at this indoors in the, our kitchen under normal kitchen lights, and it looked a bit dull, but it's, it looks nicer in here. So we've, we've got the, the PCB donkey. It's not, not sponsored. That's not a company, but yet yeah, they are going to be. That's going to be uh, a lot. So the mug and the, and the uh, mouse mat are going to go together. Uh, I'll I'll do uh, the this week in retro mug as a separate auction because I need to prove to Neil that my mug is the most powerful mug. <laughs> I have the most powerful mug. I'm not competitive at all. <laughs> so the only things in, in still in the unknown category are once this is all done and all the auctions have ended. Uh, I've still got to pack everything up. Uh, Fuzzy Lee's taken <laughs> time off work <laughs> to uh, to help me in that following week, which is you know going to be so useful. I haven't got. I've got. I've been collecting boxes, but there's only so much space that I've got here. I'm already out of space. Anytime I pick anything up off my workbench and turn around to put it down, there isn't a surface anywhere else in this whole workshop that is free it's all just piled like this <laughs> literally two and a half three foot of high in places with stuff so getting all of that organized photographed ready to um, be packed up is going to be a bit of a chore so when the auctions finish i'm going to have to put this on the listings that it's going to take me a couple of weeks i think to get everything sent out um the uh it, and it's not it's not the easiest job in the world because when things you know i can send stuff out to the uk with special delivery and that covers me i think it's up to 800 pounds but last year things went over that amount and i had to find a way to insure everything uh in, in the end i think um i sent the metrum without insuring the you know i insured it up to a certain point and thought i'm just going to have to swallow the rest of the cost if something happened to it and fortunately that one didn't go missing um the uh but then it wasn't a postage thing that went wrong with the the missing spectrum so anyway that's all admin stuff for another day um i practically i've still got to find packaging if there are any if you've got any experience of doing this, I'm going to need big boxes, big strong boxes to put these things in. If I can find them to buy somewhere, maybe I can raise some money through Kofi to uh, to purchase them so that they're not being sent out in in boxes that aren't that aren't suitable. Um, I, last year I did buy some bubble wrap, two big reels of it. I've still got some left over from that, and uh, somebody gave me a reel of bubble wrap this year um my neighbor when he moved um gave me a, a a reel of his bubble wrap which i've got ready to go but i've got a feeling i'm going to need more so that's easy to get off um, ebay up uh, off of amazon but again i'm going to need funds to help pay for that um i have got still left in the kitty um uh, for for you know uh, to be completely open about this i have 63 pounds and 27p left in the kofi kitty i bought the kung fu flash card uh, cartridge with um, Kofi funds as well um, but yeah 63 pounds 27 left to help me buy packaging um, hopefully that I'm hoping that'll be enough looking forward to the day and to finishing <laughs> that's, that's the last thing I've written, written on here there's so many projects I want to get to um, I've got I've got piles of things that have been accumulating for the months that I've been doing this. There's uh, there's a DK Tronic Spectrum case down there that I've got the loads of stuff from the Andrew Sell don donation that happened early in the year that I want to go through all micro drives and interface one stuff. Um, 
I've got uh, a really cool Atari ST uh, hard drive, floppy drive emulator add-on add thing. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, I'm just there's dozens of things that I want to to get to that I haven't. I've had to just put on hold for the longest time. And there's there's occasionally um, you'll see a project come up and you think oh, that's really cool. I'd like to do that. What a good one, good example of that. As I was watching Adrian's, um, it's probably a Patreon only at the moment. Might be out this weekend. Video where he talks about a HDMI card for the Apple II. I've got an Apple II and it's a really simple card. I could just order up the PCBs for that and, and it's just a Pico and a, and a HDMI port and some level shifters. And, um, and I could have HDMI out. I've, I've already got the VGA, but because I've got the VGA card here as well, I could do quite a nice little comparison on that. I mean, the Adrian's video is comprehensive, and, um, but it just made me want, oh, 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 I want to have a little look at that and I might make a video about it. But anyway, I want to play some games as well. I'm, I'm really desperate to play some games. I've been um, earlier in the, in the process of doing, putting all of these videos together and, and all of these items, getting them ready. I installed Satisfactory, which is um, like a, a factory building survival type game, like kind of Factorio meets Minecraft. And it's a game that I, used, I played a while ago and really enjoyed. And I just got a, I got a hankering that I needed to play it. And I installed it and started playing it, and then I, that just took over. <laughs> and I, I ended up playing that for about a week and not doing anything. And then suddenly I looked at it, I thought, oh my God, I've just lost a whole week. So I deleted it off of my computer <laughs> because it was, um, it was too much. Um, it was, it, <laughs> it, well, I wouldn't have had anything done. <laughs> But um, I really want to play it. And it's just come out of early access. Uh, and they've added a load of stuff to the game. And I am desperate to play it. So when this is done and I've got everything sent out, the first thing I'm going to do is probably take a break. I pr it'll probably be a couple of weeks. And um, I, uh, I just want to step away for a little while because... Burnout is a real danger, especially how much time and effort I've been putting into making videos recently. Uh, I've never been able to put out this amount of videos at this level of quality in this short a time before in all of the time that I've been doing, doing YouTube. And it's taking its toll. So it's, I'm, I'm okay. I am enjoying it. I'm still having fun. But every now and then I'm, I'm, stop, I'm stopping and thinking, oh, I could do with a sit down now. Um, I'm not a young man anymore. And, um, but yeah, anyway, I don't want you to worry about me. I'm fine and I'm, I'm fully aware of my limitations. And one of the things that helps me keep going is my discord members uh, and the people on there that uh, help me out people like Julian and Henry and Fuzzy Lee and um, there's well I, I could go through and name everybody but they uh, those in particular are helping me out with like um, moderation in the discord and um, lots of people oh and Chris Sorry, Chris. Uh, Chris Mogway, um, who's helped me out, helped me out with so many things and projects, and um, he's uh, they've all been brilliant. Everybody on there is uh, just a, a delight. It's a lovely, friendly, relaxed place where nobody judges you, and um, and I I don't know where I would be without it because everybody on there has just helped me in so many different ways. I, for for instance, I um, I need a photograph of a system. I just can put it on my Discord. Has anybody got a photograph of this? And I, you know, don't have to wait too long. People have got it. So that helps me a lot. Um, right. So I've rambled on enough, or I don't know if I can say ramble. Reese might sue me. 
Um, I've, I've waffled on enough Lee's Waffles podcast. Hmm. Um, <laughs> I've waffled on enough. Let's uh, let's get me off of here. And I'm so I, I, I can get this Amiga 1200 all boxed up in its metal tomb. <laughs> it's not a tomb. That's the wrong word. Um, in its metal palace. There we go. Right. Thank you for watching all the way to the end, you nutters. <laughs>